All right. So tell me something. Who doesn't like playing the infamous Ninth Legion of Rome as they set their sights on the new threat over Avalon? And yes, who doesn't like undead Roman zombies? I feel like so many people are missing out on what is a turn-based strategy fantasy game that is the King Arthur's Night Tales universe. Now, I haven't played too much of King Arthur, but I will be playing it in the upcoming months because I definitely need a bit more of a different style of genre. But this dark turn-based era where you lead this Roman legion under the fallen hero Gaius Julius Mento, where they have to basically get out of Tartarus and restore Roman rule into Britannia, right? But basically, these legions are undead, and they had to get away out of the realm of Tartarus, which is ruled by Hades himself. Now, this is going to be a role-playing tactical adventure, so you will have the turn-based strategy elements. You will be having character-centric RPG, so think, for example, Expedition Rome. You would probably have maybe four or five heroes per group, but in this one, you're going to have five to six heroes to explore and conquer the land of Avalon. You will have to make a lot of tough moral choices. Your range of villains are going to be very intense. You're going to be facing druids, you're going to be facing pigs, nightmarish creatures, and the monstrous Fomorians. So you're going to have a lot of difficulty when you're going to be rebuilding Roma Nova. And the other thing is you can use... And the other thing is, is that when you play in the battlefield, you'll have to use covers, traps, flanking. You need to use... A lot of opportunities given to you. You will need meticulous planning. You will need to figure out how to defeat your enemy. You know, really, it will all depend on the composition of how your party works and how you complete that quest at the end of the day. And of course, just like any tactical RPG out there, you have your leveling up, gaining skill points, getting ultimate skills, taking risks, exploring tactical options, testing your skills in different difficulty modes. You will have from, let's say, late back storytelling, that is if you want to play this way, to brutal unforgiving battles. And I honestly can't wait to play the Undead Roman Legion of the Ninth. I definitely think that they're going to be doing some really awesome things. But there is a couple of questions I have. That if you're bringing back the old Roman legions, that is the undead. What about the Roman citizens, right? There is no way a undead legion can simply just operate Nova Roma again without having actual alive Roman citizens. Perhaps we could have the Romano British, right? A faction that sort of survived, but when the Roman legions arrived in Britain, they saw them as traitors. So it's going to be a bit of a combination. So I would like to see some sort of Romano British citizens, or at least people who like living like Romans and want to live in this new Nova Roma colony, right? Resources will be scarce and the other thing is most of these legions they can't eat, they can't drink, so what can they do? And there is one other interesting element. It says through your actions Gaius either restores his humanity or forever be transformed into a demon. That is basically facing the Emperor Septimius Sulla. And I would rather the undead legion restore their humanity and they become Romans. Because the other aspect that hasn't been sort of introduced, or I already haven't said, is the old faith of the Romans compared to the new faith of Christianity. And they have a lot to think about and basically research. Because how will this undead legion, I really wish that they could conquer Britannia and basically go and conquer Rome, which will be very interesting indeed, I want to see how the religious fates clash. And I definitely want to see something of that kind. So this is just me saying, yes, that this is the only trailer I've used quite a couple of times to showcase what we're going to be getting. But I have showcased images as well. And I think that this King Arthur's, you know, the Legion of the Ninth is going to be an absolutely excellent DLC. And for those that like Rome, those that like strategy, those that like a little bit of historical mystery, a bit of mythological stuff, I definitely think that players of Total War will absolutely love this. Players of strategy games that love the Roman era will absolutely love this. 
So that's all I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to bring highlight and attention to. So don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Where we'll be covering a fantastic mod. That is Caesar in Britannia. Where the Romans actually go and conquer Britannia in Thrones of Britannia. Which is a lot of words but it's going to be an interesting one to check out. So don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. And finally, the last thing that I would like to say is that I think we need to support more developers like this. We need to give this DLC more attention. If you are a lover of the historical mythological time period, then why not give it a try? I'd love to see an ancient Egyptian DLC for this, for this game. I would really like to see some undead ancient Egyptians having a sort of similar path, but kind of different. But I would like to see old cultures come into Britannia because Britannia has a sort of a mysterious past that you could lend into a lot of DLC and I really do hope that with the Romans that they not just allow Gaius to restore his humanity they allow most of the Romans to restore the humanity and rebuild Rome I really want to see more this is just a personal request but honestly I think they're doing a great job and my video is simply to bring awareness of this fantastic DLC that you might not have seen right now. So, don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe and yeah, bye.